Oracle Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. It is not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Libra placement that you resonate with. Some of the messages. Look at all these pentacles, Libra. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Um, time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. Some of you, this is old news. Some of you, this is happening now. Some, this is yet to happen. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. Um, at the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more info for the week. Jumping right in, Pentacle Bay. <laughs> you could definitely have Earth in your chart, Libra, or be dealing with the Earth sign, or you are very, very, very focused on finances and stability right now. There you are. Sure ways. Major Arcana. Justice, Libra energy, the Eight of Pentacles, I mean, Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. So I do get um, stability and um, softness, kind of. It's kind of what you're trying to call in for yourself. Male or female, does not matter. Heavy emphasis on stability here. The Pentacles, it's all about the Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Something has been taking a very long time to sort of um, bloom, is what I want to say. The Knight of Pentacles is very diligent energy. Someone that um, knows the importance of consistency. Knows the importance of patience in building. Someone that is very willing to take sort of brick by brick approach as opposed to get rich quick. Someone you can depend on. But I do think this is a sort of, um, it's, it's an approach to something that someone is taking they they know you know they're playing the long game they're not they're not trying to just be rich overnight they, they, they want long long-term wealth because it does seem like whatever they're doing is something new with this page of pentacles is giving me the vibe of something new that you've recently sort of just, you're trying you know to build up you know it's not going to happen overnight but it is saying be patient be diligent be consistent with that knight of pentacles and in time some of you might be have been doing this for a while and there's a sense of wanting to review whether or not you still want to keep pushing or not. You know, is what you've gotten out worth what you've put in it, what you've put in. That is the dilemma for some of you. While you enjoy doing it, it's something you maybe um, are passionate about and something you genuinely enjoy and have admiration doing. You love, you enjoy doing it. But, you know, the pennies could be small. The pennies could be small. So it's a matter of, do I continue doing this? Or like, do I go back to work? Because I do see the three of pentacles here and the eight of cups in your future position. The eight of cups is all about wa walking away, you know? Doing something else, taking a different road. That is, that's the dilemma, it seems. And the three of pentacles is continuing to sort of push. Three of pentacles is that dream work that makes the team work. It's that um, cooperation. It's the continuing to show up, right? And everybody doing playing their part. So I do think that's sort of a... Oh, it could also be... Yeah, that is the vibe I'm getting. So it's that deliberation. Should you go back to work? Because that Three of Pentacles is giving me, you know, part of a company, part of a team. As opposed to um, this, this independent energy here. So some of you, there's some sort of entrepreneur thing or business. You know, some sort of business that you have created or have started to create for yourself, but it's not doing what it needs to do for you right now. So I do think that the question is, do you want to go back to work or not? It's up to you, really. Because it does seem like you've already put time, love, energy into whatever it is you're at. This, These eight cups is, is emotional investment that you've put into something already. Nine of Pentacles. This is where you're trying to get to. And you will get there. This Wheel of Fortune and this Ace of Wands tells me you are going to get there. It's just a matter of are you going to continue to get there? Are you going to tap out early? Because this Wheel of Fortune is all about fate. It's all about destiny. It's all about it being written in your blueprint. You wouldn't have the inspiration to do something unless it was something you couldn't uh, you could obtain. And the Ace of Wands is all about the passion, the drive, right? The creativity to get to this point. The Nine of Pentacles, which is all about stability, being able to hold your own we also have here the page of swords so we have two pages so this definitely tells me this is something newer for some of you this could be a connection that you're leaving behind very small group of you though it's not always about you know sometimes it's just about us some of you you know there's a connection that maybe needs to be left behind but i do think this is more so finances you're kind of deciding 
Can you do both? Should you continue to do one? Three of Swords, loss, heartbreak. So it is telling me it's gonna hurt you to give up on something. That's your answer. In my In my book, if it's gonna hurt you or sort of give you some sort of heartbreak sensation to stop or to quit something, there's your answer, don't quit. Continue to go, maybe do some more research. Find out more about what it is you're 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 trying to succeed in. Maybe go back to school, take a course. You know, educate yourself. But at the end of the day, the, the, the choice is yours. Gemini energy, major arcana, all about free will. You do what you want to do. You can either quit or you can keep going. Right? Ace of Cups, the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles. Look, all the Aces are coming out now. All the aces are coming out now. This is all about strength. So this is basically telling me if you can find the strength to per to continue to push, because that's what that Leo card is all about. Having the strength to overcome, having the strength to continue. When we are weak, having the strength to, to continue to push forward. Look at look at what's it's it's surrounded by. Real opportunity, real passion, real love, real renewal. And it's all divinely gifted. So there is something out there for you if you do continue to sort of pursue what it is you're being led to pursue. But it will be hard. No doubt about it. The divine knows that it's hard. But if you can push past it, gold, absolute gold, king of queen of pentacles energy, going from the nine of pentacles to the queen. And this is this is the rich queen. <laughs> this is the queen that got the money. This is the one you want to show up as. This is the queen that ain't got, you know, she's looking at the pentacle like, thank God I did not give up when I was so wanting to give up. Thank God I kept pushing. Thank God I kept nurturing. Thank God I kept watering. Because look where I'm at now. Soft. You know, living my life like it's golden. The golden. Yeah, some of you, it's definitely hard right now. And the debate is whether you should give up or not. I don't think you should. You know, it's hard, definitely. Some of you might need to get some help. Because I do see the Three of Pentacles here. If there's friends, family, anything that can sort of assist you or aid you or do something. Because the Pen of Pentacles is heavy. It's it's heavy. It's feeling as if you're the only one that's sort of pulling the weight, right? And it may be so. I do see that there's people that depend on you. I do see there's people that depend on you. Maybe a break is needed. Just a break. Not entirely quitting. Because the Four of Swords is a sense of taking a break in order to sort of regroup, refocus. Maybe acquire some more tools in order to sort of, you know, uh, make success more likely. The more probable outcome. Maybe take a break. You don't got to quit, but you can take a break. And that could be it. But you can win if you don't play. And there is good things in store here for you if you continue to go. Wish fulfillment and the chariot card. Alrighty. Guidance, please, for Libra. If this is a romantic reading, I'm not getting that. Some of you definitely could be. Because this could be affecting your relationships. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. What did I just say? This situation is definitely affecting other aspects of life. This is also why this Libra card is here. It's creating imbalance. So that's why maybe a break needs to be taken now, just so you can rebalance. Give some more time and energy and focus into, you know, the little ones, the the, the, the hubby, the, hu the the wife, whatever, the dog, the cats, the hamster, okay? <laughs> whatever, the snake, whatever you got. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this is saying don't give up on whatever it is, some sort of business or a personal life. Do not give up. Maybe a break is needed, but don't give up. Guidance, please. Do not give up. Take a little pause. Four of Swords is that pause. Just need a little pause, a little, little timeout, a little, you know, water break to regroup. Come back with it with fresh eyes. Asking for angelic support. My angels respond when I am up, when I am open and authentic about how I feel. So some of you are feeling burnt out. So be honest with that. Take a break. Chill. You know, or maybe you need to create some more structure. You only work on your business from this time to this time. At this time, you have to stop. Every five o'clock every day, we stop working on the business. We do something else. Give the kids some time, give the dog some time, make dinner, do a little yoga, eat some pop, whatever. Some structure. 
but there is some sort of um, stepping back energy in order to have fresh eyes with something. My angels respond when I am open and authentic about how I feel. So almost like in the break is when the epiphany comes. That's kind of where you get the answer to, to sort of help you move forward and overcoming fear. All right, let's get one of these for Virgo. I mean, Libra, Libra. So Gemini, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy. Lots of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with all these pentacles. And you have Gemini and Libra and Leo. We have move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. It's over. That's for some of you. Yeah, whatever this thing you've been working very hard at, it's, you know, if it's a relationship, it might not be. But at the end of the day, the choice is yours. That's what it's saying. You can stay or you can go. But you can't stay in, in the middle. Some of you are in this in-between, trying to do both, trying to be there and not be there. Trying to be single and not single. Pick a side. Okay? The divine doesn't like lukewarm. You're either cold or you're hot. The lukewarm is the dangerous part. Moving. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. Some of you may need to move. Or a move may be necessary. Either together or apart. Okay, that's way too many. Emotions are running high. And be bold and make the first move. I'm going to put these away. It's too many. Emotions are running high, so that could also be uh, why a step back is needed to sort of, you know, level out your emotions so uh, logical decisions can be made from a place of logic and not emotion, right? And be bold and make the first move. So if you're thinking about leaving a job or person, just, just say what you need to say. Get it? Just do it. Just do it. The procrastination is what's killing you, slowly but surely, because it's going to be a loss anyway. You're already losing, but you're prolonging the, the, the vibration of loss. Because you haven't done it yet, but that's what you're dwelling in. Because you know you got to do it. That's for those of you where, it, you know, something needs to be left behind. Dragging the feet, no good. It's prolonging this um, lost vibration. Peacock spirit, let it shine. Yeah, authenticity. Being honest. Saying what we really need. And saying how we really need it or want it. Or don't want it. Okay. That is your reading, Libra. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.